All right, so uh, we are live right now. Uh, welcome, welcome Ward Wrestling Live. Uh, we've got Olympian and legend in our wrestling world, uh, not just our country, but our world, Ken Shirtow with Shirtow Camps and pure peak performance is something that's passionate to his heart as well. Um, so this is, uh, we've got him here. He's a US Olympian. If you don't know, super gold medal training camp coach, one of the most well-known coaches in our, not just in our country, but in our world. People come all over to uh, train at Penn State with him. Two-time junior world champ, three-time NCAA All-American, three-time academic All-American, junior national champs, world champions. He's been there, he's done that. And he's with us from the uh, wrestling Penn State, Nittany Lions. Um, how are you, sir? How are you, coach? How are you, legend? It's great to have you on. Um, thank you so much. And if you look at Ward Wrestling Live right now, uh, you will see that I have Ken Sherto on. Coach, right there, you can have, uh, you'll see it right there, and you can go and click share with your fan base so that they can all watch you live. I know you have a big, large fan base. You'll see it right there. There'll be a share button. Please feel free to to share with anybody you want. And my man, Richard Jensen just says, Penn State stud, how are you? <laughs> hey, well, thanks for the warm introduction. Keep up the good work promoting the sport. Good to see Richard checking in from Oregon. I know he's traveling the country, motivating kids, working to keep them clean and live the good life. So that's good to know. And that's one of my life missions as a camp director it goes beyond just teaching the moves <laughs> and teaching the wrestling, but also to just keep kids focused on the future, helping them get to college and staying living clean and pure. Man, that's awesome. And um, it's great to have you come on. I see that you're growing the beard like the rest of us. Got the quarantine beard rolling, man. I'm ready for camp. I've been training hard. Yeah, you didn't, myself. Do the cut. you didn't do the quarantine cut yet? No, I'm, I've got longest hair I've had in years, actually. <laughs> That's awesome. I've, I've, I've stayed quarantined. I don't want to, when I have camp, I'm, we are having camp in July. I want to be as healthy as possible. And uh, so I can get after it. So I'm, I have not done more than grocery shop maybe three times in the past six weeks and uh, just working hard, getting after it. Nice. Nice. Hey, so um, how has this kind of affected, how has the COVID affected your off season plans? Well, before I go, you asked me to share something. I'm not very fluent. I'm way better at lateral drops and body slams. Okay. If you, if you go but on the Ward Wrestling Live. I, I got you here. I'm there. I'm sharing. I think I've succeeded on sharing that to my Facebook site there. Cool. Yeah. Share it to as many people as you'd like, wherever you'd like, to anybody you'd like. And that's very appreciative because the more people that see what we're doing, the the, the more the more better. Is that a word? The more better? Actually, actually, I might have just shared Mike Schick's, uh, Mike oh. Schick's thing. Oh, so Sh ironically, was, I don't know how long ago you interviewed him, but uh, ironically, Mike, I coached Mike at Ohio State. Oh, yeah. So that's good. You can share his too. What an awesome guy. And, and yep. he's so humble. He's like, yeah, so a few years ago, I saw they needed someone to wrestle on the veteran team. So I went and won it. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, Schick's a beast. I mean, he takes really great care of himself. He's coming to my camps with his son, Lance, and Lance is a sophomore sensation there in Florida, killing it. So impressive. I mean, he's uh, going after it. But Mike's still a stud. Being the world veteran champion, he can still take his son. Yeah, and then he said that he uh, – so I, I know there's some, there's some big camps out there as well, just like yours, and there's one that he mentioned to me that he had to – sleep like 20 days at or something like that and um he said that he went back with his son and tried to do it as an adult <laughs> yeah mike's mike's a go-getter pretty awesome uh cool did you figure out how to share it no, i couldn't i didn't see i'm on your ward i'm on ward wrestling live i don't see us yeah maybe go up and hit refresh because you might have been on there before we went live so just hit up in the top corner that little circle with the arrow And then you should pop up there. Um, as a matter of fact, I can probably tag you. So I see your interviews with some past people, but I don't see us live right now. I'm going to tag Ken Shirtow right now on it. Um, and then you should get announced. So I just tagged you. I see us now. I'm good. J Jensen likes the beard. Yeah. <laughs> He was sending me, 
pictures of um, of the, the lake and the fish and stuff. It's super cool. I'm, I'm uh, you know what, one of the greatest people I've met so far doing this and, and, and he cares so much, like he reaches out to me all the time and, and tells me I'm doing well. And I, I'm, I'm trying to set up like a little newsletter where I can send it out to the people like you that have come on my show and then other people who want to come on. And I, I asked him for a link to his book so I can put it on there because he sent me an autographed copy um, and it's awesome. And in turn, I, I paid for five of them. And I told people out there, if you have a kid or you have a family member that is going through a trying time right now and needs a Bible, needs something to help them, um, this is a great book for you. So he has five of them on that are paid for and, and, and they're welcome to be shared with anybody who, who you think needs it. Awesome. Great book. I've seen Richard. I've seen his book. He's, he's like I say, he's doing a great job motivating kids. So I got you shared. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so the COVID, COVID-19, how's it affected your off season? Well, definitely crushed the last two months from being on the mats uh, with other people. I've definitely been taking care of myself, working out hard, exercising, staying busy. I'm still committed to running camp this summer. It's still six weeks away, middle of July. Uh, we got the green light here in Pennsylvania, and we're going to run a very healthy camp. And um, I've got many dozens of people enrolled already and a lot just asking me, hey, are we 100% and we are. So we're good to go, and I'm been preparing well. Uh, in addition to the camps, as you mentioned, I, I'm very passionate about the nutrition and wellness. I'm, I'm keeping my body going strong. I, I use the pure products. David Taylor's partnered with me, and he loves them. And I've been using that time to share wellness with others and helping people stay healthy, stay fit, stay strong, like Schick. Try to be inspired by Schick. <laughs> he's only he's actually only a few years younger than me. Because when I was at Ohio State coaching him, he was – sophomore, junior, senior. He's two-time All-American. So he's one of the first guys I coached to high levels competition. Um, that was my first job out of college, coaching at Ohio State in the 90s with Russ Hellickson and Jimmy Jordan. And your own Florida's Mike Schick was one of our studs. And, and how was that for you to be a Penn State legend and go coach Ohio State? It was exciting. I mean, I, uh, Russ Hellickson was a legend in sports. It was a great, great learning experience. I, I spent three years coaching there. Russ took that program. It was not even a top 20 program. He came from Wisconsin with Jim Jordan and the three of us together over three years, we got fourth, fifth and ninth in the country. Uh, we built a powerhouse and it's kind of laid a foundation for the future. It was fun and exciting. It's definitely my, one of my favorite programs in the whole country, right along with my alma mater, Penn state. I still follow the bucks. They got a great thing going. Yeah. That kid Etchemendia they got is a stud, man. It at least at the, at the, we've seen the youth level, we've seen the world level, and, and just his story was incredible, so good. You're just biased to those guys that are close to Florida. Cuba, you guys claim the Cubans there in Florida. Yeah, and I'm so from I, Miami, so I told him, you know, I'm from right there. I'm, I, they, they asked me where I'm from. I say North Cuba. I'm right there in, in the town. Grew up with them all. I love them. I love the food. I love the cuisine, and uh, it's helped me get my girth on. I need, <clears throat> I need to go the other way, so I know that... Um, uh, I know that you're holding the camps. So we just said you're holding the camps. I know I was reading some stuff on your website. Um, there's a lot of parents out there who have kids that wrestle, and and one of their one of their their fears is sending their kids to a wrestling camp during this time where there's a lot of people in one room with touching and doing things like that. So how are you putting parents' mind at ease by saying, "Hey, it's cool. We understand what's going on in the world right now. We understand the effects that this has had." We're making some adjustments. Let your kids come here. Well, yeah, there's always going to be risk involved. There's always, in our sport, we're always battling disease and virus and different infections. I mean, who wants to get a staph bacterial infection, let alone a, a coronal virus infection? There's it's constantly in the works. But to extra precautions that we are taking is we have nurses hired. We're going to be taking temperature checks. And we're going to space the kids out. We're in a hotel. So we're not an old, hot dorm. We're a nice air-conditioned Penn State Ramada Conference Center. So we sleep, eat, and wrestle there. So the, the kids choose their roommates and we pair them up and, you know, keep them, you know, in the room, they're only going to be around a couple people. And then in the wrestling partners, we're going to limit them to certain partners. So they're not, they're not, we don't want them around hundred people. We want them around half a dozen people. So they have the people they live with, their, their serious workout partners and limit in that scope. We're going to encourage top notch hygiene. And again, the biggest thing that's going to precautionary is going to be the fever checks. Just we'll make sure nobody with the virus is there to spread the virus to the best of our abilities. Awesome. And what's the, um, what's the age of kids that you invite? 
Uh, well, we, we have a nice setup. So it's a conference center with multiple ballrooms. So we're, we, we cap it per week at 20 kids. They're ages six to nine, uh, two groups of 20 for ages nine to 10 and 11 to 12. It's a separate wrestling room. It's called kids training camp. Uh, and then the, the main conference center, we break into four areas of 20. So basically we have little kids, six to nine year old future champions, Kids training camp is nine to 12 year olds. And those are small groups of 20. And then we'll, we'll permit 80, four groups of 20, each one getting a mat uh, for the teenagers. Nice. And you say kids pick their roommates, um, siblings can be together or? Of course. Uh, guys do all that? Yeah. But I mean, and then usually when kids are coming from out of town, they'll usually try to get a friend to come with them. So they're sharing a room with a friend and there, there you go. That's another level of comfort. Even when there's not, the virus spheres, uh, it's just a general good rule of thumb to try to get a friend to come with you and, you know, you're hanging out with that person. Now then typically we just, typically we encourage them to work out with other people. In this case, this summer, it's not going to be as much emphasis on a variety of partners. It'll be more an emphasis on getting with the niche of, niche of partners, you know, limiting your risk. But of course you're going to, the guy you're wrestling with, you're not going to be socially distanced. I mean, you're going to, that's an acceptable one, one person or the handful of people you work out with. And that's, the wrestling community has got to decide how they want to do that, but we're going to be as safe as we possibly can, you know, and I, I keep up with all the science and I see all the politics and the different things. And I, I, it is exciting that very few children are, are getting sick. So that's a positive thing. We, we want to make sure we're careful around the older people and the sick people and, you know, have some separation there. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I, you know, I ask those questions because as a parent, I'm sure they want to know and, and I'm sure there's parents that may see this and, and, and watch you and, and um, or, or may, maybe they go to your camp every year and they're, they're having that thought, you know, like, what should I do? Oh. And it's good to, to let them hear about this. And, um, and that's amazing. So good I, questions. I, hey, bottom line is I want to run the camp as responsibly as I possibly can. And we, I've hired nurses to oversee that. And I'm excited about the venue that we're going to provide to create a clean, clean, friendly, healthy environment as possible. Nice. And um, Coach Periano, I did ask him if he remembers coaching you and putting you in a fireman's carry. And he said, absolutely, he remembers you, right? <laughs> asking if I, so I, I do know Periano from coming to my camp as a young young teenager. Um, he's, a, he's a confident young man. He still is a confident stud today. That's awesome. <clears throat> All right, so before we get to uh, your most memorable moment on the mat, uh, let's open it up and talk about your Pure Peak performance. I know that um, uh, you, you invited me on a call the other day, and I got to hear a little bit of it. Um, I tried to do some research on, on, on the website here, but go ahead and please. I know you're passionate about it. You mentioned David Taylor's involved with you, so take it from there. A uh, long story short, I mean, I've always embraced good nutrition. As an athlete, I want to be as lean and ripped as possible and as strong as possible, eat healthy food. And, you know, I come from an era that was supplementation wasn't cutting edge when I was coming through. People were just learning it. But now nutrition science is at such a high level. And so many young people are seeking healthy energy drinks and healthy protein supplements. So I did my research for many years. And in my 20s and 30s, I didn't fool it too much, but over the past decades, so many kids are wanting the best products possible. So I've partnered with David Taylor and Pure, and he's used the products to really put some great physique on his body. He's world champion 184, and he entered college at 149. So he's bigger, stronger, faster, feeling a great, you know, tireless, great performer. But there's so many wrestlers and so many athletes. But really, Dan, it's just an overall good wellness program for adults that want to stay healthy as well. We have product lines for everybody. Um, specifically to the GPS sports performance products that guide the athletes on their path to success. We're just talking about higher level hydration drink than, than the typical stuff you get in the store that's far, far lower in sugar and is loaded with vitamins and amino acids. And then there's multiple different pre-workout and post-workout protein supplements and different wellness products for, for parents to want to be healthy. And coaches, we don't want to have heavy coaches. We want, I want to be feeling strong and ripped. So trying to keep the parents, coaches, and athletes healthy. But, uh, you know, anybody who wants to learn about it, just contact me directly. I get them a video. I get them some information. I coach them and give them the information they want for their personal individual needs. <clears throat> Everybody's different, right? You're, whether it's an 11-year-old or a 17-year-old, whether they're looking for more muscle or they're looking for maximum endurance or, or whether it's us old guys wanting to stay lean and fit, you know. But as soon as I shave the beard, 
I'm be looking 29 again. Let me tell you, quarantine <laughs> beard, quarantine beard goes as soon as camp gets here. Bam. I like it. And so, uh, I, can you still whoop David's butt? David, I, dude, did you, you in my introduction you said I was an academic All-American, right? <laughs> I want no part of David Taylor. Come on now, <laughs> I, I ain't no dummy. Now, now give me little Spencer Lee, and I'll bring a little bit right there. But uh, none of David, all right. So, um, seriously though, I still go live with all the kids. Yes, I can handle all. I can handle the teenagers. Now, once they get so, like Zane Rutherford's one of my students. So, growing up, I wrestled him all the way through high school and everything. But you know, once he gets up to one forty nine in college and stuff, and uh, again, the intelligence kicks in. I'm like, you go wrestle with Noff and Dicenzo, and uh, I'll take care of the teenagers. All right, <laughs> yeah, I so. love it. But I, I, but I still, I'm still very hands-on at camp. I wrestle a lot. I take good care of myself and I, I'm showing tons of moves. I bring in lots of clinicians to help, of course, and break into groups, but I, I'm intimately involved in teaching camp and wrestling. I take on all comers, anybody, any size, anytime. I'm very involved. And that's one of the things that makes my camp stand out in the crowd. You know, all these different colleges, they have college camps to worry about this and that, and recruiting, and they have the college kids involved and stuff. And I'm, I have all the college kids from many different colleges there, but I, I'm certainly uh, and gr- engrossed every aspect of my camps. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I I know that I looked at it um, <clears throat> and I kind of had it on the dates. And um, so hopefully, you know, hopefully one day I can get the boys up there. What's your son? We got your son's a freshman, I believe. Get him, get him going. So, I mean, it's just a sweet setup. We use the Penn State Ramada Conference Center. And you mentioned the dates and it's middle of July. July 12th through 24th is our two-week Super Bowl camp. And uh, Fargo was just canceled uh, a couple days ago. So boom, uh, uh, suddenly some of the, not that we, we already do get plenty of elite folk stylers, but now some of the year round freestyle superstars that, that overlap with Fargo are like, Hey coach, I'm coming. You know, they've grown up going to my camp through eighth, ninth grade. And then they start going to Fargo. Now there's no Fargo. So it, it's, we're going to have some really nice quality competition. All right. Well, if I come up there, we can set up live and, and do this. <laughs> Absolutely. Live, I know you're saying live on the computer, but I'm talking live, me and you, Dan. Yeah. And you, man. I like forget, it. Forget Coach David is- Lee. I'll take a pass on David Taylor, but. <laughs> hey, so what was your most memorable moment on the mat? Wow. Uh, well, there was a lot of good ones. I would say that winning my first high school state championship, I was, I was a sophomore in high school, I got to the state finals. I lost. It's one of the most memorable defeats in my memory. I mean, it was, uh, it was heartbreaking. But for the next 365 days, I was like in the zone. And I, I, I remember winning my first state championship. Like it was yesterday. It was a really special feeling. And hopefully a lot of the teen athletes and youth athletes out here can relate to that. Because I achieved a lot after that. And I had a lot of great memories. But nothing beats that first state title. It's something special you have forever. So some other ones I'd say – my first debut at Rec Hall at Penn State, wrestling in front of a full house. That was, that's crazy adrenaline, fun, exciting times. And uh, I'd say the final Olympic trials, when I made our U.S. Olympic team, that final match, I had to beat this, this uh, previous Olympian, Joe Gonzalez, who was a legend, lightweight in our sport, dominating wrestler. And uh, I defeated him to make our Olympic team. And uh, that was just definitely a very fulfilling satisfying feeling so a a quick thought high school state championship debuted at penn state and then making the olympic team that's awesome you look like you could wrestle him right now ready ready (laughs) all right man i put some 10 questions together uh typically i try to gear them towards uh are you your area what you've been um but i I know that uh i know that i did it right here for you because i know this is You've got a passion right now. And, and, and are you ready for this? Bring it. Fusion or Goyan? Oh, you're going with some pure stuff. Oh, I'm all about the Goyan. The Goyan tastes good. It's very relaxing to take before you go to sleep at night. All right. Energy watermelon or energy grape? Well, you're making this a nutrition thing. Um, I tell you, I like both grape and watermelon. My favorite, you can maybe appreciate this as a Floridian is the Island Splash Energy flavor. It's kind of like got a pineapple coconut taste to it. And it, it gives me a good pick-me-up. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm drinking a little bit of that right now. It's not funny you mentioned that. Um, I like to stay hydrated. I like to stay energized. I want to make sure I was focused 
for Dan Ward Live. I love it. And then I saw these amazing juice bottles. Talking about energy drink, I saw these pretty bottles. There was blue ones and red ones and green ones. And I said, would he go Noni or would he go Akai? I couldn't figure it out. Uh, so you're talking about the super fruit bottles, and they are all very good. And I like both of those, but Fusion, the one you mentioned earlier, combines those two along with Mango Steam, and that's one of my favorites as well. So that's one of the product lines of Pure is fruit juices. Uh, so again, I just try to really stay clean and healthy, and that's one of the I like all of them. But the Goyen's the best. Man, and then I'm like, but well, what is you know all these people are like cleansing themselves and they're doing these cleanses and they're doing whatever it is they do. And then I was like, man, would I go capsules or would I go liquid? I'm not quite sure what I would do. Did some homework, Dan. Holy <laughs> smokes. Well, that's, that's a funny question you ask, and I'll tell you. So this is important science. So capsules in general, whether it's pure or anything else, you don't absorb everything. Sometimes you don't maximize the absorption. When you take products by liquid, they don't taste as good, but they get into your system quicker and more fully. So being the tough guy that I am, right, I'm a liquid guy. So I take the cleanse and the daily build vitamin by a liquid form. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you they taste great. But I mean, <laughs> you know, not everything that's good for you tastes great, right? So my, I take my vitamins by liquid. I'm always, that's the best way to take the products as opposed to the capsule form that might not absorb as fully. Yeah, and I was like, well, what if I'm somebody that doesn't like juice, but I love shakes? And I was like, man, there's got to be something on here. Like if I'm just a shake guy and I found these 360 complete shakes, but then they've got vanilla or chocolate. And I'm like, which direction do I go? I'm all in on the chocolate, my man. Chocolate. Okay. Awesome. And then, you know, for these wrestlers out there, they're like, you know, what do I do to hydrate? I go buy these Gatorades or whatever, but I was like, I wonder if they got this hydrate stuff and, and they do, and they're, they're sticks. They're like hydrate sticks to put in your, your water. And, and then, of course, they got to make it hard on me. They got grape, and they've got fruit punch. And I'm like, I don't know which way I would go. I know those are big decisions. Those are some of the difficult decisions we have in our life. Yes. Grape versus fruit grape punch. Grape or fruit punch. I feel like Personally, a kid with the Kool-Aid jars. Right, exactly. So I got a couple thoughts. So first of all, I'm a fruit punch guy personally, and that's what you're asking me. So that's the answer to your question. I find it, it can't. The younger audience likes grape, the elementary school, and teenagers migrate more to fruit punch. But more importantly, again, reference in Florida, no wrestling in Florida. They came up with gator sugar in the 70s. You know, the football team, getting all these big heavyweights drinking gator sugar, your Gatorade down there. But that, that is just not good for you. And then over time, finally, Gatorade come up with G2 and G0, and they've realized – they're pumping too much sugar into people for too long because they're getting competition from all of our healthy energy and rehydration drinks. And on top of that, Gator Sugar, Florida Gators, is uh, designed to sell in the convenience stores, quick, easy. The Hydrate, the pure product, is truly designed for peak performance athletic competition. So if you want, we wrestlers want to put the very best stuff in our system, especially coming off weigh-ins. So you're coming off an hour weigh-in, so many athletes can't perform at their maximum potential. Hydrate comes into play big time. But in general, I have one every day after my workouts. So And how easy is it? They're sticks. They can keep them in their book bags. Right Straightforward. Simple. And simple speaking to make. of gators, I'm, I am not a gator fan. I am a hurricane. Hurricane? Well, they don't have wrestling either. All right. No, but so that, sign that me duck up. is wrestling that gator. All right. Well, you guys sign me up when we start wrestling at Florida State, University of Florida, and Miami. I... I volunteer to take over one of those three programs. Yeah, that would be awesome. So then um, I've got a few more here. So I was, I don't know what I was doing. I was like, man, I'm looking for like some energy stuff, some energize me stuff or whatever it's called. And, and I had no idea and I'm going through and I, I was like, man, they got these two tubs, like these powder tubs or whatever, I guess. And I was like, do I go circulate or do I go energize? I, I kind of was, wondering which direction I should go. So I figured I've got the guy on, let me ask him. All right, man, you were just crushing me with these questions, but the answer to your question is energized is amino acids and it gets into your muscle quick and it hits you, it hits you. that's the most basic one and it's safe for young people and teenagers. Circulates a little more high power, it's got arginine in it, 
which is a more a more 16 and older type drink. So it's it's a more powerful pre-workout. So energized for anyone, any age that's you know 10 or older, and then circulates the big time stuff for the serious teenager that wants to get after it. It's a high level pre-workout drink. And that's pretty much in, in our society, you know, in the GNCs of the world, all these different sports performance products companies, the pre-workout drink is most popular because people are kind of lethargic and they want that little uh, before they go to lift weights or go to wrestle. You, you know, personally for me, I get a good warm up and get my mind together. And I'm ready to go. All right. But some people need that extra pick me up. And they, those pre-workouts are pretty popular in our culture. And we have a very safe, effective one in energize, but circulates the more advanced one. Wow. Uh, this video will be coming to a pure performance video near you. Um, you know, there's morning people, right? They get up and, and, and I'm like, man, but I'm a coffee guy. Like, I love coffee. I want to get up. I want to make my coffee, get my crackers, get myself caffeinated. And I was like, what do they have for the morning? And they were like, you can either go like Mila or pure cafe. And I was like, oh, well, you know, it's kind of like, where do I go in the morning? Yeah, pure, pure cafe is good. It's the coffee drink. It's got a little bit of a little bit of tang flavor in it. And it's also got a, a stimulant that raises your metabolism. So pure cafe is the talk there, but also just the straight up energy drink, which is the fruit flavors you mentioned earlier are good. Here's a really good point. Energy for the mind gets you going in the morning. It gets, it gets that stimulant. It's got caffeine, B vitamins, gets you going. Whereby the Energize, which we talked about a minute ago, is for the muscles. So morning workout, energy, get the mind going. Later on the day, you're getting that heavy workout. Boom, Energize. Ooh. Good stuff. Now, Good questions. Yeah, now um, I know this is going on right now. We've got COVID-19. Um, kids and parents are worried about stuff. We're kind of like, what do we need to do to make sure that we can combat this? What's for our immune system? What kind of probiotic should I take? Should I go probiotic or should I go immune six when I come to the Ken Shirtel wrestling camp in Penn State? You did some serious homework for this interview and you're putting me on the spot too because I thought we were going to just be talking wrestling and stuff. <laughs> I want to do some lateral drops and bear hugs and body slams. But to your question, you, the combination of the immune six with the probiotics is what you want to take to strengthen your immune system. And you know, interestingly, on a, on a slight brief business note, you think about what is this virus raising weirdness of? We all need better wellness. The majority of people who are passing have some pre-existing conditions, sadly. I mean, anybody's vulnerable to virus. Anybody can get sick. But the reality is it, a lot of the people that are having struggles are the less healthy. I'm, of course, the older. And they, they've got different health ailments. So the more we take care of ourselves, and we wrestlers, what does wrestling do? keeps us healthy for life. So beyond the products, it's just a way of life, healthy eating, healthy living. I personally don't drink. Don't like we talked about um, Jensen earlier. I, you know, in the anti-drug talk, I've never taken drugs, don't drink and take drugs at all. And uh, that's just, the, I just take good care of my body. And that's a message that we as a wrestling community need to promote constantly. And it's, it's changing for life in so many ways, but certainly just the health and wellness portion of wrestling is so critical. And uh, I don't, I, I honestly don't know any wrestlers that have gotten sick. I mean, I've read an article here in Vietnam about some distant person that's maybe older or something, but I, I just don't, I don't know anybody in my circles and my circles are pretty far and wide. It's, it's gotten sick from this or that maybe got a little sick and worked right through it. And, and so, and I, I had another question, but I, it's just more of a statement. I know that, um, you obviously got involved in this and, and I'm sure you did research before you got involved with it. Um, <clears throat> there is a, uh, there is a skin defense cream in his uh, barrel of things there at Pure Performance. So if you are a wrestler, adult, youth or younger, they do have a skin defense cream or liquid that I did see there that you can use to defense against obviously the things that we, uh, our kids kind of defend, defend against on the mat. Um, so there is a skin defender. They call it skin defense. So uh, you have that. They did have some uh, calcium stuff in there too. Keep your bones well, kind of like the milk. It does a body good thing. So I saw a bunch of that. And I, and I know that Pure Peak Performance, I, I read your notes when you signed up. And I know it's, it was important to speak about it. So I kind of took my, my questions that route to help you kind of get that out there. And, and now people can make a better decision easier when they're out there looking because 
when you go onto that website, just like I did, um, you can get lost real easy. I mean, there's so many products, right? And then you got to break it down. Do you want immune? Do you want something that's for the GPS? Do you want to go with nutrition? Do you want to go with, you know, so you just got to make sure you kind of know which direction you want to go in there. And, and all this stuff is really good. And uh, you don't need all of it. You just need some of it, I'm sure. And then, then good, good point. You need to figure out what your needs are. And that's where I come in. I mean, like, look, my love is coaching, wrestling, coaching children, helping them pound people, achieve their goals, live their dreams, win scholarships. Part of getting there is nutrition, eating healthy, getting the right weight class, being disciplined in your weight control, weight management, peaking at the end of the season. It all goes hand in hand. So nutrition's always been a part of my, my life, my well-being, and coaching. And then here in the past decade, I've really embraced the science of nutrition. I'm a science major at Penn State. I went to med school. I have a nutrition science minor. I have an exercise science minor. I, I, I understand the, the, what it takes to go from that really good to great. We don't want to settle for being good when you dream of being great. So part of that is a nutrition component. And I, I've embraced ex, becoming an expert in that field. Yeah, and um, it's really cool because um, – uh, and first of all, anyone out there, I am not a pure performance rep. This is the guy. Uh, he's got the stuff. Um, I, I just, I wanted to bring it to light because one of the cool things that I saw on the website for everybody out there is as a parent of an athlete, anytime somebody brings us a protein powder or brings us a liquid or talks to us about something like this, the first thing we always say is, well, what about our kids? What age can they take it? What, uh, how old can they be? What is there for it? On this website, it's really, really super cool, everybody. There's a kids button on there and you drop down this kids button and you can choose whether you want, whether your kid is two to four, six to nine, 12 to 14, 18 plus. And then they have products kind of put into those buckets that are safe for children in those age ranges. So you don't have to worry about Am I going to stunt their growth? Am I putting something in their body that doesn't belong there? Are they too young for this? Are they too old for this? These are all questions as parents we had. So one of the first things I looked for when I went on to Ken's site there was how do we find out if it's healthy for our kids? And, and they have all that information right there. And there's a drop down. You can choose the age of your child and it will tell you what products work for that age group. So that was pretty cool. <clears throat> and uh, that being said, a few wrestling things. I mean, maybe I'll just throw out like, uh, do you tell kids to go to Fargo or 32? It uh, depends on the individual, depends where they live, depends what their budget is. I mean, every, everything's different. Uh, if, you're, if you got to pick one, uh, it depends what you're better at. Are you, are you better at folk style? That's where you want to make a name for yourself? Or are, are you, do you really stand out in freestyle Greco? You know, so it's, that's a, that's a very broad question. It's kind of the direction. Okay. <clears throat> How about this one? You've got one day to train. Do you prefer a live go like a rumble or do you prefer a clinic? If there was one thing, it's drilling. So there you're kind of in between. So you got to learn wrestling and yeah, you got to live wrestle. But one of the biggest things in development of skills is intense drilling and scramble drilling, play drilling, play wrestling. Um, those things. So I, I don't think just sitting there and learning moves does you any good unless you're drilling the heck out of them for starters. And I don't think just live wrestling does you any good unless you're, you learn what you learn, what you want to work on. And you're, you're good. So just throwing some beginner out there and let them live wrestle. They're going to you know, get killed and not do, develop bad habits. So you got to find the right blend. So your, your question is a good one. And it, it comes back circling back to camp. You've taken this, um, a lot, a lot of nutrition. I didn't, you threw me, threw me for a curve. I didn't realize we we're getting the nutrition as much, but circling back to the wrestling, the ideal camp director, me, obviously I want to advocate as a camp director myself is finding the right balance between what you asked about learning live wrestling. But the majority of what you do is drill and drill and drill and drill and drill, especially this summer. Am I going to pull in a bunch of kids and have them sit next to each other, listening there, breathing? On no, we're going to, you and your partner are going to go out there and then 10 feet over there is going to be another pair of partners and 10 feet over there is going to be other partners. And I'm going to be drilling the heck out of my guys. 
like repetition, like chain drilling, like side to side drilling, varieties, no tie, loose tie, control tie. Drilling is the number one thing that wrestlers have to do. It's more important than the live, and it's more important than sitting there and learning moves. It's you want to drill, and you can sit and learn moves on TV at home. You can watch a video. I've got DVDs. There's videos all over the computer. What can you do at camp? Good structured drilling with supervision and partners. They're going to challenge you with good coaching to mentor and polish and perfect what you're doing. Okay. So that's that's the long answer to your question. Good. So you're down three going into the third period. Top, bottom, or neutral? Oh, top, down three going to third. I don't. I'm not there very much. <laughs> first of all, gonna, <laughs> first of all, I was going to say lateral drop. Lateral uh, drop. Yeah, I'm I'm bottom. Is the answer the answer your question is bottom? It's a, almost a no brainer for most people uh, because you get a, you get away and you take it down. You're going to do that with in a matter of seconds, and the t- the game's tied right there. I mean, the chances of me getting on top and holding some dude down while he's stalling on bottom and and r- turning him isn't so great. Picking neutral if you're down three. If you pick neutral with that takedown, you got to take him down twice. So I'm all about bottom. Boom. Stand up. Look, I've been doing my quarantine push-ups, man. Love it. Bottom. I'm getting away quickly in that takedown. And then real quick, in our sport, you have been involved in both arenas. You've been at the NCAA championships and experienced that. You've been uh, to the pinnacle of our sport on the other side, which is the Olympic Games. To a wrestling athlete, because since our sport is Olympics, you have your hat on. Um, do you think an athlete, a wrestling athlete, looks at the NCAA championship or the gold medal as kind of uh, the bigger the bigger get or the bigger grab? Well, I, I think there's no doubt about it. The Olympic gold, the biggest grab, that's the biggest. But I, I think from a short-term young person motivation, I mean, I think you guys think about better your skills, great, getting great at folk style, earning a college scholarship. I think that's one of my biggest guides as a coach is guiding kids to think about what they want to do when they grow up, think about what college they might want to go to to study and wrestle at and and using wrestling as a vehicle to get a, to get a great education and ideally to get it paid for to some degree, if not all of it. And then along the way through college, you're working towards that Olympics and you're working to make an Olympic team, but such a small segment of our population makes an Olympic team, let alone wins the Olympic gold medal. I mean, it's, it's hard. I mean, that's certainly that's the dream. No doubt about it. The Olympics is the ultimate, but the the championships is something special to dream about. And I really hone in on that with kids a lot. And as a Penn state, look, I live, I live seven miles from Penn state. My camp is on, you know, two miles off the campus of Penn state, the Penn state Ramada. I mean, we're always talking about college and helping athletes get there. A lot of my students, you know, go to Penn state. And if they don't, if they're not quite Penn state, quality of athleticism maybe they're going to cornell or harvard or princeton or if they're just want to stay local we have a lot of good state schools in pennsylvania with good wrestling so I, one of my responsibilities is to help kids place at colleges that are ideal fits for them That's as a awesome. matter of fact you had periano on your show i didn't see him but i <clears throat> talked about his his career is national recruiting right yes yeah so i mean that's what i do as part of a camp director one of my jobs is to help my regulars pick you know they, they come spend Two weeks with me, I'm trying to help place them in the best possible college to fit them. And for most most kids, that's not Penn State. I mean, it's Penn State something special. The kids that are going to Penn State, we already seen them win the Super 32 or win Fargo, the tournament you alluded to earlier. My job is to help them find the right fit academically and wrestling-wise. And it may be Division Two or Three or NAIA. There's a lot of options out there. But certainly, being a Pennsylvania, living here in Pennsylvania, I'm always trying to steer kids to the, to the Big Tens and the Ivies whenever possible. Awesome. I want to keep talking to you. Can we just like talk forever? This is like, I'm pumped, man. You got you on the, on here. Well, you got to, you got to bring, I guess we got to do another one. I mean, we don't get too long here and keep these people Yeah, listening. we need to get my son up there. We need to get him up there. Let me, <clears throat> let me work on my wife. There you go. Hey, we, seriously, we have direct flights from Tampa and Orlando to, to State College, Pennsylvania. You fly, our airport's got direct flights, not just Florida, but also Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. People fly in from all over the country. And my understanding on the flights is they're going to be taking temperature checks to get on the flights, too. So it's going to be doubly safe. You know, if you're going to come to us, you better be healthy. I want healthy wrestlers in our camp. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. And uh, 
I look forward to hopefully building this relationship, man. I do appreciate you coming on here. I know you're a busy son of a gun and to get 30 minutes of your time uh, is tough. And I, you know, I reach out to a lot of people all every day and um, somebody at your level getting back to me as quickly as you did and responding. And it just means a lot. Uh, I think there's a lot of people out there that, that they don't and that's okay. That's their thing, you know, but uh, for somebody like you to reach back and give me the opportunity to interview you and talk to you about uh, stuff that you're passionate about. And then off the air, uh, you know, asking me about my kid and my children and, 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 and things like that really, uh, really hit home. And that just shows that you, you really care. And um, well, if anybody's wondering why we were so late getting on air live, they know we we're, when you're talking about your stud kid there that keeps improving, going from losing all those matches to, you know, placing the district and pretty exciting stuff. And I'm, I'm excited to hear your commitment to your child and, that's something I love seeing the, the parent child relationship in our sport is something special. But one of the reasons I reached out that quick to you, not because I didn't, I wasn't familiar with what you're doing. You're, you're new, what you're doing. And I asked you some questions, obviously, you know, because you're not some stock stalker. And I, I checked to see what was going on and I'm committed to the promotion and growth of our sport. And clearly what you're doing with your show is that commitment. You don't need to be an Olympic athlete to run, run a pocket. I don't want, I don't do what you're doing. I'm not an interviewer. I don't do this. I, I'm excited to see that you're working to promote and grow our sport. I'm glad I can contribute. It was a pleasure being part of it. So that's, that's my life's work, helping kids promoting and growing our sport forever. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to hit my wife up when she gets home and tell them, look, honey, I'm sorry. I got to be at state college at the end of July. Ken Schertow and his coaches and I are going live from the Ramada. Right. state. Yep, July 12th through 24th. And I'll tell you, you I'll give you my website so everybody knows where to find us. So my name is obviously Ken Cherto. So KenCherto.com is where all the camp details are. I mean, there's tons and tons of minutia details of what we're doing at camp, both technically as well as precautionary for this summer, getting ready to host a great camp. And then you ask me in the quiz, you put me on the spot with all those questions. Anybody that wants to learn more about Pure should just contact me directly. But the website is livepure. Dot com, and then to get to my site, you put a forward slash KCN stands for Ken Church Nutrition. So livepure.com forward slash KCN is is my nutrition site. So not when you get when you get with me, I'm your coach. I help people pick out the products as part of my daily duties. And you know about a lot of them right now because we just went over them. Yeah, our beer man, Mama didn't raise no dummy. <laughs> hey, so make sure that you go on to. Uh, it looks like. Elizabeth Nuss just put one of your KenSherto.coms on there. Um, but you're welcome. You can go on, on to Ward Wrestling Live when we get off, Coach, and just kind of type it up. Never mind. Eliz Elizabeth Nuss has, it, has you covered. She's throwing on the, uh, the KenSherto.com. She's throwing up the LivePure.com. Uh, we've got Emily Shertow throwing up a thumbs up. Man, we've got Brianne Santos Dawson throwing up the Yahoo Ken. Boys can't wait with the Ken muscle arm. Man, we got <laughs> a lot of good stuff here. Man, there's a bunch of good stuff. Lots of good shout outs to you, Ken. Uh, like I said, man, I'm just humbled and honored to have a gentleman like you on here. I am not a wrestler. I never wrestled. Uh, my passion for the sport comes from what I see it does for children and young men and, and the people that are in it that do it. So uh, that's why I started this. And and now you're part of it. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for drilling me with questions. I appreciate the challenge of being ready. Duck, yeah, take yeah, one, yeah. Go the other. I, I figured you'd, you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Keep up the great work. I look forward to working with you more. Thank you.